Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. How you can create your new Jupyter Notebook using IBM Watson Studio. So this is your project window. First we will create an empty project. Click on this. Write the name of the project. We would say over notebook and then put the description here select the storage and click on create button now your empty project will be created this is your new empty project window we will click on this add to project choose notebook There are three options to build up your notebook. This is a blank one from file if you already have from URL if you have a remote access. So we will create a new one notebook. You can choose a select runtime from here. And this is your language showing 3.6 version Python. Click on create. Now it will create your blank new Jupyter notebook. This is your default runtime new blank Jupyter Notebook. Uh, here you can write your own code. But before writing a code, you need to import the dataset file here. So you can use that dataset to apply or build a model using this book. It's creating. This is called Jupyter Notebook. So first of all, the very first step is that we will upload our data file. Click on this and choose the CSV file. We will choose this one. It's uploaded. Now it's showing insert to code. So there are two ways, credentials and pandas data frame. So we will click on this pandas data frame and you can run this. So it's showing first five records of the your data file. If you want to add a new cell, you can click on this and you can also change its position using these buttons and make it markdown. If you want to write a co uh, comment or description about the project, say analysis of ED's data set. And we can make it heading. Okay. And you can run it. It will look like this way. If you want to share your notebook, you can share with anyone. And like you can set how much content and what which cell you want to share with the other. You can choose only text in the output. Uh, second option is that all content excluding sensitive code cells, all content including code. And this is a link you, you can copy and share. Apart from this, you can also download your file. And here, when you will click on this, you can add the comments. And by clicking on this, you will find the version. We will save the version. Now your first version of the Jupyter Notebook is created this one it will show your date and time now we will close it if you click on this here under information you will find two tabs this is your journal tab where you can change the file name description and under the environment you can change the environment if you want now if you want to run your notebook at a specific time or in a future you can click on this button and click on create a job here you can enter the name of the job i would say cron job and this is your schedule off we will on it here you can take the start on you can choose the date uh, which on which date you want to start it at what time and do you want to repeat it or not like that and click on create and you can also select like you want to uh, run it every day or excludes the day or end on like this way 
after that we will go back now your project will show the uh, file here if we click on the assets you will see the uploaded data file and your notebook which you have created if you want to change it anything in this you need to unlock it first and then you can make changes in this so this was all about how you can create a new Jupyter Notebook using IBM Watson Studio and run the code using the data set. Thank you so much for watching this video.